broke ground on this test facility three months ago, and today we completed our first Max AB engine test on the F100 engine. When our team was asked to learn how to operate an F100 in our own test facility, the first thing that I did was ask others who have done this before, how long does this typically take and how much does it typically cost? People were throwing out numbers like $50 million in two years. And that absolutely wasn't going to work. The primary thing that we did was de-scope early. So what are all the requirements that are causing pain in the schedule? And ask ourselves, is this actually necessary? Is this something that we need for future vehicles? We were actually able to do this in about an eighth of the amount of time they said it would take and one-tenth of the cost. This is a massive collaboration, not only between all the different teams at Hermius, but also our external partners. Uh, we've had basically 24-7 support from Pratt & Whitney. A lot of our contacts there have given us a lot of wisdom and all of the things that come from the decades of experience that this country has in operating the F100. So now having our own capability to test a stock F100 engine unlocks what we have to do in the next couple of months, which is to fully integrate our own flight control systems, our own flight software, and all of the aircraft interfaces that we need for Quarter Horse Mark II. What this facility will become after we have deployed this engine to Mark II is it will become a direct connect facility where we will actually push high pressure, high enthalpy air into the inlet of the engine to simulate conditions all the way up to Mach 5 and beyond. Uh, and this will unlock our own development testing of the engines for our next couple of vehicles and eventually the turbine-based combined cycle engine based around the F100s and be able to test it at Mach 5 conditions here on the ground, here in our own test facility.